Hello. Hello. Hello everyone, everybody with me today. Short notice. Short, short notice for this video, but I wish, I hope, at least say so will join me today. Okay. Who have I got here? Is anybody there? Please write something so that I know you are there. How are you doing today? Who is with me? Please write something so that I will know. Oh, Sir Paul, thank you for tuning in. Who else is with us tonight? This evening, this will be a very, very short one. You know. So the earlier we start, the better. Who else is watching? Please write something so that I will know you are there. Oh. Dr. ID, I see you. Oh, Ruth, my darling, how are you? All the way from Nigeria. How is everyone? Please share the video as you come in because this will be very short. Thank you. Thank you, darling. So, as the topic said, who remembers what the topic is all about? Let me see who is attentive. Take the ownership of your three dots yeah queen d i see you oh landry how are you doing good to see you here take ownership of your three dots i don't even know which of them to address now you know should i say take ownership of your mind because that's where everything starts okay that's the foundation and root of everything when you are able to be the one in charge up here, when you are able to be the one that is making the decisions, when you are not being forced to do things, when you do calculative decisions, that's what it means by taking charge, ownership of your mind. And when you take ownership of your mind, then every other thing will fall in line. For example, if you still have your mind, you can call it the brain with you. I didn't want to put that so that people won't you know, feel somehow insulted that I'm saying they don't have their brains on. But unfortunately, most of us have lost their mind. Most of us have left their brains somewhere and someone is just, you know, using them as a puppet, you know. I was there too. So let's all take ownership of our minds. And I particularly want to talk uh, when it comes to relationships, okay? When you are in a relationship, you have to take ownership of your mind. By taking ownership of your mind, I mean that you, when you decided to go into these relationships, there were some vows you took, right? You told him you are the sugar in my tea. You told him, I will be with you through the rain and sunshine. You told him that wherever he goes, you will go. I'm talking to the ladies now. You told him, I will be there forever and ever, you know, in sickness and in whatever, all those things that we say when we say, I do. It is only a person who is in charge of his mind, who is in charge of his brain, that will be able to keep those things, to keep to his vows to know that i have said this and i will keep to it i have said this and no matter what is happening around me i still have my mind and i will take charge i take ownership of what i say i take ownership of my words i didn't just throw those words in the air to answer mrs Ujimado, but i meant exactly what i said hello lisa ba. thank you ma for tuning in Hello everyone for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in and share the video so that uh, others will join us, okay? So when you are in charge, when you take ownership of your mind, that is when you will be able to take responsibility for your actions. There will be no blame game, 
you must start saying it's because he did that it's because that happened that's what i did that i'm not saying that when you take ownership of your mind that means you should start condoning evil on the side of the other person but when you are really in charge when you and your mind have agreed that is when you can be able or you are able to take ownership of your mind of your actions you will say yes i said it and i will do it okay it shows a lot of maturity in there secondly when you take ownership of your mind then you will be accountable of your results how can you be accountable of your result what is result result is something that happens when we have taken action to do something most of you know that we have a campaign going on now, which, which we call Relationships 101 with your body. And I love all the um, feedbacks I've been getting, all the uh, messages, comments that people have been writing me in box or even in person. Because I told you people that most, uh, I started this campaign first of all, because I saw my mentor do that. And secondly, I did it as a person, you know, to reduce my size, to be more fit. And all were motivated by seeing my mom die early at the age of 65. After suffering for a year or two, you know, on a sick bed. It's sickening. And I still feel emotional when I do this. So I took it on me to make sure that every woman, every man that I come in contact with <laughs> does his best to be fit does her best to be in shape okay even everywhere people meet me they call me fat police <laughs> it's just i keep on telling them don't eat that eat that don't touch that sugar don't touch that coke don't touch that coca-cola please go and get some water you know so it's okay it's all in memory of my precious mom that i lost so early okay because she was so big she was very big and even if you are not big you are slim that doesn't exempt, that doesn't exclude you from sickness if you don't eat clean, if you don't eat well. So you join that group, Relationships 101, with your body on Facebook, okay? But that's not the topic. But what I'm trying to say is that when you take care of your mind, when you own your mind, then you will be able to know what you even put in your mouth. When you still a friend to your mind, when you pick up those candies, when you pick up that Coca-Cola, your mind will tell you, maybe, no, 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 no. Then you go and drop it and you st instead take an apple or you take a cup of water, which will do you much, go much, much, much more good than taking a cup of just, I don't know, coloring and sugar, okay? Hello, Queen Stella. Hello, Oluwa Toin. How are you all doing? So I have just a few minutes to round this up. You have to take charge of your attitude towards what you can change and make the best out of it. You have to change your attitude towards what you cannot change and make the best out of it. There are situations we cannot change. There are situations no matter what you do, if you cry till tomorrow, it will not change. So what you're supposed to do is to make the best out of it, especially when you are not in charge. When you are not in charge, you agree with your mind, create your own micro environment to, be, to still be in charge, at least of your own sanity. Do you understand what I'm saying? For example, if you are in a family where your mom, for example, nags so much, or your dad, you believe that they nag, you know, that they, they are stepping on your toes. As long as you are not able yet to provide for yourself to find your own house, if you're forced to still stay under that environment, you must force yourself to be mindful of how you relate, to create your own micro environment where you still have your cool, where you still have your peace, even st still staying in that environment. So own your mind, people. Own your mind wherever you go. Own your mind in what you eat. Own your mind in what you uh, read. Own your mind in your own relationships. 
be outspoken in your relationship. I think I will have to tackle this particular aspect the next time, especially the ladies. We believe that our husbands are soothsayers. They know what we are talking about or what we are feeling, so they should act accordingly. And the other way around, mm -mm. there's no soothsayers in here. There are no, um, I don't know, what names you call them again. So, where your minds start uh, speaking out, say what you want to say when you want to say, and say what you meant to say when you wanted to say it, okay? So that nobody will deceive you, so that you won't feel like a victim, so that you will own your own world. Thank you all for joining me, and I want you to write down here at least one thing you have learned today, and I will connect with you, and I will join in the discussion. Remember, the whole world is waiting for you, the queen, is waiting for you, the king, to go out and manifest. So, we are your fruits. The manifestation time is here. Go out and conquer your world because you've got all it takes to do that. Did you hear me? Now go. See you next time. Bye-bye. Share the video. Share, share, share.